So one of the things I remembered back when I used to use Fedora was how difficult it was to install NVIDIA drivers. Now I'd used it a few times before I started using it again, just a few weeks ago, and I found guides kind of explaining how to do it the old way, which includes blacklisting the open source driver and going into TTY mode and a bunch of other stuff. I hope I'm not the only one that feels like in 2017 you shouldn't have to do all of that just to install display drivers, it's just not acceptable. It turns out with Fedora, like most modern distros, you don't have to do that. Now I'm running a 750 Ti, and before you try to install the proprietary NVIDIA drivers, you should make sure that they're actually supported. I think at this point, pretty much all NVIDIA cards are supported, but just in case, you should probably know which card you have, so you make sure to install the correct driver. The RPM Fusion repo actually has several drivers you can choose from, so making sure you install the right one is kind of important. Oh, and also, before you install the NVIDIA driver, make damn sure that Secure Boot is completely and totally disabled in your BIOS. If you're dual booting with Windows, this might be difficult, if not impossible, because good old Windows usually requires Secure Boot to be enabled. I think I read that somewhere, and I don't actually remember if it is true or not, but the NVIDIA driver installs itself as a dynamic kernel module, and Secure Boot blocks all unsigned modules, so it usually causes the install to crash. Or at least when you boot in, it'll cause that to crash. Regardless, just make sure the damn option is turned off. You don't need it anyway. You'll obviously need RPM Fusion installed. Once that's installed, you'll need the kernel headers, and you'll need the NVIDIA drivers. Since mine is a GeForce driver, a 750Ti, I just need the regular driver, which is an AK Mod NVIDIA driver. And I believe my graphics card supports CUDA stuff, so we'll go ahead and install the CUDA libraries. And after that, we'll install the Media Acceleration stuff. And since your graphics card might support stuff that mine doesn't, you might actually install other stuff like Vulkan or Optimus stuff. You know, you get the idea. So after all that's done, we'll go ahead and reboot. The initial reboot might take a little bit longer because of kernel module stuff, but once all that's done, we'll see the login screen just like normal. And if you're running GNOME, you can go to the details section and see that the graphics has changed. Now it says GeForce GTX 750 with some other stuff. And you should have the NVIDIA software installed. Since I installed the media acceleration stuff, I have VDPAU information in there. So that's pretty much all there is to get set up with your NVIDIA drivers on Fedora. Now obviously if you're running AMD drivers, you'll just want to stick with the open source drivers, and honestly the open source drivers work just fine for NVIDIA too, you just won't get good performance like you would with the proprietary ones. That's going to wrap this video up, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. I appreciate your support, and thanks for watching.